<laughs> Welcome back to Artists Exposed with Tim Moss. We are at Big Apple Comic Con. Yay! And look who I ran into. Johnny Brennan. How are you? How's it going? Great to see you. Good. Good to see you. What a day. Beautiful day. Uh, sunny, gorgeous, cold, but beautiful. Yes, you right, know? right. And people are out enjoying themselves. I guess you can't ask for more than that. Uh-huh. Well, now people know you from Jerky Boys. Yes, Jerky Boys. Frank Rizzo. Yeah. R-I-Z-Z-O. Open your f***ing <laughs> ears, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and also on Family Guy. But Family Guy, they might know best Mort Goldman. I do a few characters on Family Guy, but uh -huh. uh, a, a lot of the gay stuff. Um, uh, Scott, my character Scott. Uh huh. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's one of the most favorite Family Guy episodes, <laughs> and I play Scott, Peter's lover. <laughs> it's called the episode is called Family Gay, and and it, it we had such a blast. Uh, and um, actually, to Mort, the big big character Mort, I do is uh, yeah. But you know, I don't. Yeah, I'm busy right here. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> so Mort Goldman's a big, a big splash. You know. Oh my God, this is great. So when did you discover that you had this talent for voices? Actually, I doing making up characters and voices literally since I'm five years old, wow. just a little kid, uh -huh. and started getting them on tape and stuff, reel to reel back then in those yep, days. Exactly. Uh, so uh, cassette, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I would say. You know, you're talking sick mid '60s as a little kid doing all these characters and oh, voices. Fine. Then through the '70s, recording them, uh -huh. and then the rest is history. You know. <laughs> I love that. Now you get paid to do it. I love. That. Well, I'd like to get paid a little more. Yeah, right. <laughs> we all would, right? Yeah. Oh, but how fun is that? Oh my goodness. It's 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 a blast. Uh -huh. it's, and you know what the, the beauty of it is too? When people come out. And they do my characters to me. Yeah, that's you know? I've seen a few of them do that right. for you. And too. Uh, just there, I, dro I drop my glasses. Yeah, and right. the guys are like, oh, look at his glasses, his, his shoes and his glasses. <laughs> so it's classic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that means you're definitely making an impression on American, yeah. on American pop culture. It is amazing over all the decades how people are still loving it as much or more now uh -huh. than ever. And uh, social media is a big plus. All right, people know, you know, Jerky Boys have sold millions and millions and millions of records uh -huh. so millions of people around the world are familiar with the jerky boys yeah. but now with social media right. all, all these new young ones I mean my daughter is 13 and all the kids in her class are nuts over the jerky boys oh my god uh, at some of these comic cons I think the kids are coming up to my table for family guy stuff and they're like right. oh never mind that we want jerky boys we want Frank Rizzo <laughs> two little girls 11 year old girls wanted Frank Rizzo oh my god yeah. that's so cool yeah. well now explain jerky boys those are the the prank calls jerky boys are based on characters that I grew up my mom, my dad, it, they're all characters that are real people. Uh -huh. And that's why it, it, Jer Jerky Boys translates uh -huh. so well in in Family Guy and situations like that because they're real characters. Uh -huh. They're not they're not they're not characters that somebody drew a picture and then somebody comes in right. to do a voice. Right. When I'm doing Mort Goldman, I'm literally doing my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's why. And when I do Saul Rosenberg, that's my mother. I love it. When I do Frank Rizzo, I'm doing my father. Uh -huh. So these characters are they work so well. Howard Stern said they work so well because they're real people. Yeah, right. And, yeah, and, and so that goes for all of them. So you just kind of put yourself in that place yeah. under those circumstances. Yeah. What would my father say? Right. These wacky anecdotal, these scenarios that I come up with, <laughs> and then what I do is I just put my mom's voice in the scenario <laughs> as Saul Rosenberg. <laughs> so over these many decades, when you hear Saul. Ro I tell kids that come up to me now, they love Family Guy, and they get such, when I do the voice, they get so blown away, and I tell them, so listen, from now on, when you watch Family Guy, you'll know I'm doing my mom. And the, ki <laughs> and the, and the, the kids actually get such a kick out of it. Well, pick one voice and say, you're watching Artists Exposed with Tim Moss. You want, uh, whatever one you want. Whichever, pick one. This is big old badass Bob, the cattle rustler. And you're watching Artists Exposed with Tim Mars. So Stacy, you know, if I didn't say better, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you was a regular jackass. So stay tuned. <laughs> that's awesome. Got it. And that's a wrap. Thank you. Johnny, thank you, nice thank you so much. That's good to, Johnny Brennan, good to meet thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>